I know a shortcut. I sure hope Ranger King got our message. Speak of the Tasmanian Devil. I thought you said this was a shortcut. It is. Whoa! Time, mate. You took your time. The little country town of Currawong is under attack. What knuck would want to do this? The local security is in the thick of it. One of their mates is holed up at the old barracks. Oh, it's a shocker out there. Frills have breached the northern river. Sly, Shether, I'm gonna need your help. You can count on us. If we follow this road, it'll take us up to the old barracks. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm here to help you, mate. Don't worry about me. <coughs> There's a battle mortar in the old barracks. It's the only thing that can defend the ground through from those demon fluffies. I'm there. <coughs> you little beauty! Watch it, Ty! The dropships are onto you! That's taken care of those demon fluffies, Possum. Hang on, what's that? Shivers! Fluffy! That gate leads to the old jail. Where Boss Cass has been held prisoner. It's been a diversion for a jailbreak. Not if I can help it. I'll take care of it, Chef. Hey, you! Well, well, well. The little orange rat has come out to play. I know what you're up to and you're not gonna get away with it. Whatever. You're hanging around like a bad smell. Hold it right there! Hey, Fluffy! You still here, rat boy? I'm not gonna let you break cash free! Oh, yeah? You and whose army? I don't need an army! <laughs> I think you're going to now. Boy, enjoy your meal. Die, mate. Do you need a hand? Hmm. Thanks, mate. I thought I was a goner. At last, I'm free! Not if I can help it! As usual, Ty, your pathetic friends have gotten in your way. Toodles, Ty. So long, loser! Cass got away. You did the best you could, Possum. Yeah, mate. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead meat. I could have done better. Next time, I'll be ready. And it is with great pride that I cut this ribbon and officially declare open Baramaji Bush Rescue.
It's a state-of-the-art facility with an observation tower, research lab, airstrip, and advanced headquarters. That's you, Possum! Good on you, mate. Dennis, you won't regret this. With Bush Rescue, we're ready to take on Boss Kess the next time he strikes. Well, it's not going to be that easy, I'm afraid. Why not? I've just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have diplomatic immunity. You mean it's an immunity community? That stinker! Diplomatic whaty? As the newly elected president of Cassopolis, Boss Cass, and his diplomats are above the law as long as they're here on official Cassopolis business. They can double park, open other people's mail, and leave the milk out. And Sergeant Bluey can't touch him. Which is why it's important for us to find out what his plans are and catch him in the act. <sighs> well, there's no time to stand around gas bagging. We've got work to do. Hello. <laughs> Crikey, you're a frill lizard. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough. My name's Sneath, and me mate over there is Keith. Good G'day. I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Ah, uh, righto. I also take care of the bush rescue training program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. Righto, mate. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the right stick. Just push it left or right to spin the camera around. And you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the directional buttons. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? You can change this through the options menu. They got that feature in already? I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. If you haven't worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of yours to jump. It's easy, really. Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess the Jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Before you had your ranks, mate, you had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep, and in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey the Snubnose Shark from Strathpine. Here's how you can use them to bite things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it, we've got some crates right here. Why don't you have a go at biting them? Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Bruna. Righto. The beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Did you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? That's right. You can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. All you have to do is press the jump button. And when they're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the Gliding Goose from Glen Iris. Well, looky here. Some water, just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Set it on there, mate. Anyways, Ty, we'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. You can swim all right, mate. Time to learn how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the Diving Duck from Darwin. <laughs> there are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines, or even a ladder. Like this one here. Anyways, just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. 
I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Marichidor. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a ring's eye view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Careful, mate. There's a big drop just ahead. You know how we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, you can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you're running. Have a go on this fella here. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? Well done, mate. You've learnt just about every bush rescue trick in the book. G'day, mate. Now, we have it on good authority that a spy is feeding information back to Cass, allowing him to cause trouble around town. Yes, to avoid detection, this bounder is using a disguisatron. Didn't you invent that, Julius? Yes, but that evil Cass has started producing cheap imitations in one of the many sweatshops in Cassapolis. You'll need the infrarang or X-rang in order to see through their disguise. When you're armed with the right ring, the spy should stand out like a sore thumb. Good luck, mate. Good day, Ken. What you doing? I'm helping out Julius, mate. Apparently that spy you caught wasn't working alone. Fair income. That's right, mate. Looks like there's a whole mob of Cass's cronies with them Disguisatron thingamajigs. Struth! They could be anywhere, mate. Not just in town, but all over the southern rivers. I've got Burramudgee covered, but if you could check out all the outskirts, I'd appreciate it. No worries, mate. I'll see what I can do. G'day, Bernie. What you doing? Nothing. You miss your mum, don't you? Sometimes. It's okay, mate. Your dad's worried sick about you. How about we get you home before it gets too late? Okay. Yikes! Oh, my goodness, you startled me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Hey, you're Dennis's nephew, aren't you? Why, yes, I am. People call me Clarence. So, what are you doing all the way up here by yourself, Clary? I'm on a dare to enter the grounds of Gruesome Bottom Manor. The famous Burramudgee Haunted Mansion. Haunted? You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Of course I do. Some of my best friends are ghosts. They're quite friendly, actually. But there's one ghost who's really mean and won't let me in. Tell you what, mate. I'll go and see if I can sort him out for you. Would you? Thanks a lot, Ty. Yay, Ty, you did it! My incorporeal chums are happy that you got rid of that pretend poltergeist. He didn't stand a ghost of a chance against you. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Ty, need a ride? Just press the action button when you want to get in. Thanks, Jeff. Help! We're under attack from Ninja Billies. Dad Nabbit, what's the big idea, man? You just clobbered all our extras. Huh? Why, well, this here's a movie set, you silly boy. We're Beryl. And Squeaver. We are the biggest stars in Hollywood. And we're making a movie down under. Uh, sorry about that. I thought you were under attack. Attack? Those ninjas are expensive stuntmen. Now we're behind schedule. Get off my set. Go on. Get. Struth, you actually turned up. Okay, the dynamite is too unstable to keep close by, 
So we need you to fly down Danger Gully, pick them up, then take them to the disposal area at Deadly Peak. Well, good luck finding a pilot. See ya. <laughs> Seriously, trust me, you don't want to hit anything out there. Good luck. No worries. Great flying there, mate. Now we know who to call next time we have another ridiculously dangerous job to do. Thanks. Uh, I think... Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known I'd find you here. You're always terrorizing somebody. A girl's gotta earn a living. When are you gonna give it up? You know you can do better than Cass. You really think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. Yeah, but the money's good. Sick and patchy. Well, I certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, Rat. You won this one. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Good work, Ty. You stopped Fluffy and Cass from terrorizing the kind folk of Steel Springs. That bird brain Cass will stop it. Nothing to hinder us. Oi! Watch who you call a bird brain, fur face. Uh, well, I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of great intelligence. <clears throat> oh, good save there, Dennis. Now that that's out of the way, I've got some more jobs for you, mate. No worries. Ah, Fluffy, you're back. Did you get it? It wasn't easy, but here it is. It's smaller than I imagined. Mmm, you have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, Professor Carlos. I got what you wanted. Now, can I see a demonstration of the machine? Hmm, it is feasible. Activate! The machine! Ouch, that's gotta hurt. What just happened? It appears that I still need one more component. Whatever you need, get it. I want the machine fully operational as soon as possible. And then I will have the power to rule not just Cassopolis, but the entire world. <laughs> oh, Ty! You're just in time. I've whipped up a smashing gourmet meal for the workers. None of your boring old meat. Pies for my men. It's tofu cheese souffle made on soy milk and quail eggs with a dash of ginger. Sounds, uh, tantalizing. Would you like to try some? Uh, no thanks. I've, uh, already eaten. Tight, you're just in time. The boys are ready to knock off for lunch any minute now. They've been hanging out for their meat pies with mushy peas. Here you go, mate. Crikey. This smells like an explosion in a manure factory. That'd be the parmesan cheese. Well, they're as hungry as half-starved emus, so here's hoping they won't notice. It's true. It's a good thing you're here, mate. We need a hand taking these crocs. Count me in. Good one, mate. We'll be using a boat and a chopper to round them up. I'll steer the boat toward the crocs. You use the chopper to pick them up and move them over the pontoon. Duke will drop them and I'll tag them. No worries. Dennis, I made it as soon as I could. What's the emergency? Oh, it's just terrible, Ty. Terrible. What is it? Who needs saving? My freeway is in trouble. 
Is Cass responsible? Did he blow it up? No, no, no. I was building the Dennis Memorial Freeway when the workers walked out on me. Dennis Memorial Freeway? They were complaining about my fastidious scrutinizing. I told them the fuchsia brickwork clashed with the faux teak timber trim. It simply wouldn't do. I hope you paid them double time. It's simply terrible. The freeway is so close to being finished. I just need a few extra pieces put in place. Will you help Duke find those pieces and put them in the right spot? Pretty please. Oh, dearie me. It's just dreadful, Ty. I've sponsored a team of scientists to explore Mount Boom. But something's gone wrong. And now they're trapped inside the volcano. I feel so responsible. I'm their patron, you know. You patronize them? Oh, no, no, I just give them money. I'm frightfully worried. It's been ages since I've heard from them. You must go inside and make sure they're okay. Relax, Dennis. I'll see what I can do. Hey, over here. Boy, are we glad you found us. Our lava pod's cooling crystals defrosted. Stranding us here. No worries. You can have some of my cooling. Thanks. We better get out and let Dennis know we're okay. He's probably worried himself silly by now. Hey there, Bruno. What are you doing here? I'm trying to face my fears. You see, I suffer from hypsophobia. What? You're scared of hippies? No, scared of heights. I figured that if I faced my fears, I could overcome them. So did it work? It did, until I looked down. Don't worry, mate. I'll help you down. Thanks, Ty. I think I'll work on my fear of heights at home. I'll start by using a stepladder. Possum, you have to shut down the main pump before the whole place blows sky high. Be careful, though. Kaz's troops are out in force. Struth, what are they? They, my little orange foe, are nanobot. And as a whole, they are known as Buffed. Struth! Well, I've got what I came for. Time to move on. Not without a fight! I was thinking the same thing. Buster, take care of him. Ta-ta, Ty. Boss Cat is gonna love this. So Fluffy was tearing apart the oil rig looking for something. How strange. The thing she stole. What did it look like? Like a glowing cricket ball, but bright green. Sounds like a tennis ball. Tennis ball? Oh dear. That could be my bio-organic micro -scanalyzer. What's that? It's a machine that creates a holographic resonant image of the deoxyribonucleic constituent of any tissue sample. In English, mate. Who? Oh, uh, it maps out your genetic structure. It shows what you're made of using pretty pictures. Ah! Why would Cass want that? I don't know. After all, it's useless without the power of a grid processor. Oh my! What's wrong, Julius? I remember reading about a break in at Currawong University last month, and the only thing stolen was a grid processor. I bet you top dollar Fluffy stole it. Boss Cass is up to something. Something big. You may be right, Shaza. I need to work out what Cass is doing with all those parts. Let me know how you go, Julius. In the meantime, I've got some bush rescue jobs to do.
the bioorganic microscanalyzer. Julius has excelled himself yet again. Will you stop doing that? Let us begin the test. Well, what are you waiting for? Turn it on! The scanalyzer will extract the genetic information from the mammal specimen, then use the grid processor to calculate which attributes we want for our frail soldier. all the best qualities of a reptile and a mammal. Excellent! Now I can create an unstoppable army! I'm a genius. Mm, there are side effects, for the mammal that is. So cold. That's not a side effect, that's a feature. It'll make a great bullet point on the side of the box. thing we're lacking now is a large supply of unsuspecting mammals. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Carlos. I know exactly where we can find some. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Situation report is as follows. During the last big rain, the local farmer's sheep got loose and now are stranded all over the shop. We need to get them back to the shearing shed before the floodwaters rise. I've got the helicopter all fueled up and ready to go. We'll use it to pick them up. Ty, are you a sight for sore eyes? Rex went diving for treasure, but a school of sharks rocked up and now he's trapped in a sunken shipwreck. You have got to help him get out of there. I'll see what I can do, El. Hurry, Dal. He doesn't have much air left. That was a top-notch effort there, Ty. I thought I was going to end up like a bag of chum. I'm so glad to have you back in one piece, Dal. Too right, El. All thanks to our little mate, Ty. No worries. It's looking grim, Ty. Cass wrecked the pipes carrying oxygen to the sea lab, and the scientists are gasping for air. You can use the sub bunyip to pick up the pipes and put them back in place. That should get the oxygen flowing again. You did a bonzer job there, mate. Those boffins will be able to breathe easy now. Literally. We're under attack! Somebody please save us! What in tarnation? You's just wiped out our extras. Why can't you just leave us alone? But... But no buts about it, boy. You've messed up for the last time. Now you's get. Ty, it's looking grim. Not only are we up against a raging bushfire, but Boss Cass has sent a few of his goons in. Righto, just point me in the right direction, and I'll be going the other way. <laughs> you crack me up, Ty. Okay, follow me. Good on you, mate. You saved Gunner Gunner. I bet there's Gunner Gunner be a party to celebrate. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard that joke, I'd have about seventeen dollars. Hold it there, commoner. Lower your eyes. I am Princess Orchid. Uh, um, I was just... <laughs> hey, don't stress out. I was just kidding. I am a princess, though. Say, you're an outsider, aren't you? Yep. The name's Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. I'm from Bush Rescue. Ty? I've heard all about the dangerous, and some might say stupid things you do. I prefer to think of it as bravery. So what is this place? This is the Temple of Karnuk. It's where the bravest of our tribe face trials of danger before they become warriors. Would you like to have a go? Okay. The trial is very straightforward. Enter the temple and try to make it out the other side in one piece. I'll meet you there, if you make it. G'day, buddy. Hi, am I glad to see you? This is my boyfriend, Duncan. 
Duncan. This is my brother, Ty. Pleased to meet you, mate. Likewise. <laughs> you picked a bad day to visit our tourist park. Someone sabotaged the bridge control so we can't get up top. And busloads of tourists are due any minute. Is there any other way to get the bridge going again? Well, you could kickstart these emergency generators. They're scattered all over the mangroves. Betty and I have to wait here for the tourists to arrive, so we can't do it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Ty. You're the best. Just follow that path and make sure you hit all the generators on the way. Just watch out for the frills, wild crocs and flaming traps, okay? No worries. You did it. Awesome, man. Now we can get this place open and ready for the tourists. Oi, over here, mate. Look, Clarence, it's Bush Rescue here to help us out. What's the problem? Me crocs have gotten out of their cage. And me son Clarence here is a bit frightened. It's best if I stay up here and keep him comforted. Could you herd those crocs back into the cage for me? No worries. Beauty bottle of bonza, mate. You handle those crocs like a real pro. You're good enough to work at me croc farm. Well, I have had some experience with crocs before. Anyways, thanks again for the help. Little Clarence here is feeling much better now. Oh, dear. He's a little larrikin, he is. Takes after his Uncle Dennis, he does. He's always getting into scrapes. Isn't that right, mate? Oh. He's going to grow up to be a star footy player. Or a jackaroo. Oh, I can feel it in me bones. Well, look who's here. It's number one on the least wanted list. <laughs> that wretch coming from number one on the annoying rat list. Now, will you scram? I'm busy. Not until I get what I came here for. Another tail kicking? Oh, I can give you that. Thank you! Not bad. Not bad at all. You're almost as good as me. You know, Ty, still not too late to join us. We could use someone like you. In your dreams, Fluffy. If that's the way you feel, so be it. But don't expect any special favors next time we meet. in recovering the shadow drive, Ty. No worries. What is it? It's a component for a brand new power bunyip. You'll get to see it in action soon enough. Good one. This data nut is heavily encrypted. I suspect it may contain clues pertaining to Cass's plans. Good luck I found it, eh? Indeed. I'll call you as soon as I've decoded it. Ah, oh, Ty. These are my brand new experimental explosives. I need you to take them to the Min Min mining site. They're made from explodarium and are extremely volatile. So handle them with care. Why is everyone so anxious for me to transport explosives these days? Because no one else is mad enough to do it. Fair enough. You'll have to hurry though. They have a very short shelf life before they become unstable and explode. Here you go, mate. Aha, Julius's new explosives. Just what we've been waiting for. And these ones didn't explode during delivery like his last batch. That was a rip snorter of an explosion, eh, mate? Those morons are ruining my movie. Get them off my set. Are you sure they're not just extras like before? No way! We never seen these guys before. You have to help us! Hmm. Let me think about it. Now look here, I hope I wasn't out of line with that orange bath mat remark earlier. What? Burl, we called him that after he left. Jeepers, we're sorry for getting mad at you, Ty. Will you please help us? 
Really, please? Okay. You're okay in my books, buddy. Uh-oh. Here they come again. Wrong! That's a wrap, Ty. Great work. The dailies will be awesome. They'll make a great scene in our film. Do you have representation? Uh, thanks, but I'll keep my day job. Relax. Everything will be okay. Just take some deep breaths. <sighs> deep breaths. Okay. G'day. Ty, mate. Glad you made it. Can you clear the road so we can get Colleen here to the hospital? No worries. You'll need to load those boxes of didgeridoo donuts back onto me truck. That should give us enough room to move me truck off the road. Ripper, mate! <sighs> Thanks, Ty. I better move me rig so we can get this show on the road. Thanks, mate. I thought I was a goner. My old life flashed before me eyes. See anything interesting? Nah. I was too scared about falling off the edge. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> well, I better motor. See you, Ty. Ty, mate. Not a moment too soon. Some spot fires have broken out around the place. We have to douse the flames from the air before the fire spreads. Bonza, Ty. You saved Greenwood Forest from ending up like a Sunday Barbie at Maury's place. I heard that. Ah, Ty. I've been expecting you. Have you got my plutonium rod? Yep, here it is. Excellent. When I combine this with my neutron reel, radium hook and gamma tackle, I will have the most technologically advanced fission rod ever. Those rotten marlin will think twice before poking me in the bottom for a giggle. G'day, I'm here to fix your car. You took your time. I could have grown a spark plug in the time it took you to get here. There you go. Good as new. Well, I doubt that. Anyway, at least I can get to Baramudgee now. You wouldn't want to miss your Winger's Anonymous meeting. I heard that. G'day, mate. I'm Ty. Hey, Ty. My friends call me Snappy. G'day, Snappy. I said my friends call me Snappy. Uh, okay. So, I uh, hear you have a problem. Yes. My interstellar time cruiser, uh, uh, caravan, has crash-landed on the other side of this hot molten lava and is teetering perilously close to the edge. The heat shields are already starting to melt. Why would a caravan have heat shields? To stop it burning upon re-entry to Earth's atmosphere, of course! Okay. I'll see if I can help you out. How do I get it going? Try kicking it! Uh, okay. What the? Thanks, Ty! See you around like a wristle! <laughs> G'day! I'm Ty, from Bush Rescue. Thanks for coming so quickly. My sister Peppa and I were doing some rock climbing in those hills when a dinosaur scared us and we ran in different directions. She's not the best rock climber in the world. I'm worried something may have happened to her. Leave it to me, mate. I'll see what I can do. Hey there! What? You know, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. You're Peppa, aren't you? Yeah. Your sister's worried sick about you. Oh my gosh! Peppa, I forgot all about her. I got lost in thought up here with this beautiful scenery. I was supposed to meet her at the campsite ages ago. Well, you better get a move on. I'm out of here. Hey, Dennis. Woo! Relax, mate. It's me, Ty. Oh, Ty, are you a sight for sore eyes? Those ghastly beasts won't let me move on. Crikey! Could you be a kind chap and help me out? Uh, no worries. Thank you so much. Be careful, though, they're very strong. You did it! You took care of those beastly beasts. This just goes to show why we need a local bush rescue office here in the Never Never. Too right, mate. Well, I have to go see Khan about the new office. Toodaloo! Oh dear, this data nut contains some rather disturbing information. Boss Cass has been building a diabolical machine. A machine capable of sucking the warm-bloodedness out of mammals and transferring it into reptiles. Crikey! Those are the buff-headed new lizards I've been seeing around the place.
These warm blooded uber lizards are bigger, stronger, and faster. Cass is making an unstoppable army so he can take over southern rivers and eventually the world. Strife! But isn't Cass going to need a lot of us mammals to make an army that big? Exactly. Which is why we need to move fast. What the? Baramudgy is under attack! I don't believe it! Cass has kidnapped the entire town. Look, he left a note. What does it say? Dear Ty. <laughs> There's still time to save him, mate. Go on, get cracking. Let's do it, sir. Let's face off against that cad boss Cass. Hey, wait up, possum. You're not leaving without me. Or me. It's time for me to pay back an old debt. Yours is really cool. What is it? It's a missile bunyip. I built it myself. Who with a little help from Julius? Rightio, chaps. We're over the drop zone. Prepare to engage. Is that a shadow bunyip? Sounds like you've got bunyip envy, Sly. <laughs> Don't worry, I like yours too. Look out, incoming! Looks like Cass doesn't want us to leave. Truth? What in the world is that? It's Patchy! He's a cybersaur! <laughs> He'll be sore after we finish with him. Never learn, do ya? We must be getting closer. Let's move it! Not again! Cat doesn't really think he can stop us, does he? Shazza, see if you can free the Baramachi Tannies. I'm going after Cass. No worries. What is it, Shazza? Be careful. Okay, Possum? I'll be right. Hey, Shazza! See you around like a rissal. Couldn't leave your little orange nose out of my business, could you? Blame yourself, Cass. You mess with me, mate, you mess with me. Over, Cass. 
You heard the man. Hey, hey, hey! It was all a bit of fun! I hope I wasn't out of line with that crack about turning your friends into ice cubes. I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. How about you join my team, huh? I could use a couple of good men. Easy work, good money, and nice jackets. Fat chance, Cass. We're taking you in. Oh, it's just not fair. Mm, most unfortunate. <laughs> And, for extremely selfless acts of bravery, I am proud to present these medals made of the most exquisite thunder eggs to Sly, Shazza, and Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger! Good day! I have bad news, my friend. What's wrong? I cannot explain. You must see for yourself. Come with me. Where are we going? We are going to the dream time.